Good day, students. Let's look at some problems in DC circuits. Problem 1.1. There are two diagrams in problem 1.1. Let's solve for the first diagram. In figure 1.6a, calculate the current flowing in the circuit given that the resistance is of 2 kilo ohm. Note down the figure. There's a voltage of 200 volts, a current flowing I, and the resistance is 2 kilo ohm. We know by Ohm's law that I is equal to V by R. That is nothing but 200 divided by 2 into 10 cube, which is equal to 0 0.1 ampere. You can either keep your answer in this unit or convert it to 100 milliampere. While conversion, make sure that the unit is correct. In figure 1.6b, calculate the current flowing in the circuit given that the resistance is of 2 kilo ohm. You may notice that there are two resistances here. Each of them have a value of 2 kilo ohm. The voltage drop is 200 volt. Note down this circuit as well. Let's solve the problem. Here, since there are two resistances, we find the circuit resistance, that is the total circuit resistance is RT is equal to R1 plus R2 because they are in series, which is 2 into 10 power 3 plus 2 into 10 power 3, which is nothing but 4 into 10 power 3. You can write it as 4000 ohms or 4 kilo ohms, whichever one is comfortable for your next calculation. Therefore, I is equal to V by RT by Ohm's law which is equal to 200 divided by 4000 equal to 0 0.05 ampere or 50 milliampere. Remember to write the units for all your problems and their answers. Problem 1.2 Calculate the voltage across each of the resistors shown in figure 1.7 and then calculate the supply voltage V. Note down the figure. There's a supply voltage V. There are separate voltage drops across each resistor because it's a series circuit. So those are V1, V2 and V3 respectively for R1, R2 and R3 and the current is 2 amperes. How do we solve this? First, you need to calculate the voltage drops across each of the resistors. So V1 is equal to IR1, which is equal to 2 into 2, which is equal to 4 volt. This is according to Ohm's law. V2 equals IR2, which is 2 into 4, and that is 8 volt. V3 equals IR3, which is 2 into 6 and that is 12 volt and we know that in a series circuit the voltage is equal to the total voltage across each resistor so the supply voltage would be V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 which is 4 plus 8 plus 12 and that total voltage is 24 volts. This is the supply voltage. 